Last but not least, you got Adam Edelin. Now, Adam Edelin is the next rising star. He's the next big thing, not just for Kentucky, but in America. He's been called the next Bill Clinton, which, you know, say what you want about that. But I think what they're pointing out is that he's got southern charm. He's got that, you know, southern twang. He's got that accent. And then he also has that RFK Kennedy Justin Bieber haircut, right? So he's got he's got a nice set of hair. And so when it comes to what a, you know what looks like a politician, he's an impressive politician. He's you know when it comes to Matt Bevin, Matt Bevin is a you know a radical, and he's a good politician. So what the Democrats are going to have to pick is they're going to have to pick a radical, and they're going to have to pick a good politician. So Kentucky has a gift with Adam Edelin. Adam Edelin is impressive. He's not as progressive as Jeff Young. So I would not vote for Adam Edelin. But if the Kentucky Democrats don't pick Jeff Young, I hope they pick Adam Edelin. So just point out, you know, just to point out one issue, universal health care. None of them say universal health care. That black president talked about universal health care, so they can't all the diseases that Kentucky has, they got diabetes, they got cancer of all kinds, right? They got rectal cancer, they got cervical cancer, they got prostate cancer, they got lung cancer, they got brain cancer, they got skin cancer, they got lung cancer. You name a cancer, and Kentucky's number one in cancer. Kentucky is number one in the heart disease. Kentucky is number one when it comes to obesity and diabetes. Diabetes is a, you know, a disease that's ravaging Kentucky. So when it comes to universal health care, Kentucky needs universal health care. They need it. They need it like from the bottom of, you know, from the bottom of their hearts. They need it because they're sick as, you know, dogs. So, And then to be selfish about it, you're going to let the society go sick while you're doing fine? You don't think that it, their sickness will eventually get to you? It would be best if the society is educated and the society is, you know, not sick. It's better to not be sick you know, dumb and poor. It's not. It's better not to be those things. So when Adam Edelin talks about universal health care, it's just like Rocky Atkins, just like Andy Brashear. They're just talking about access. To I'm very skeptical of these Democrats, these progressive Democrats. They've already run to the right on health care, right? And that's a, a litmus test. That's a moral issue of our times. So Jeff Young is for universal health care. If Donald Trump doesn't provide universal health care, which he's not going to, right? Trump cares to fuck everybody over. So if Donald Trump doesn't provide universal health care, then you will not get universal health care from Edelin or from uh, Brashear or from Atkins. You will only get universal health care with Jeff Young. So back to... Adam Edelin. Adam Edelin was Kentucky's auditor. He only served one term and then he lost in 2016, but he's impressive. He was throwing people in jail. He was saving money. He was one of the best goddamn auditors in Kentucky's history. But he lost the reelection bid. And so he threw Richie Farmer into jail because Richie Farmer got elected as the agricultural commissioner, right? Because his last name's Farmer. Richie Farmer's a U.K. basketball player. His last name's Farmer. Why can't he run the entire agricultural sector? Of course, Richie, well, the time and time again, Adam Edelin was throwing a bunch of these assholes that was taking Kentucky money, stealing Kentucky taxpayer dollars, and he was throwing them in jail. I haven't heard about anybody going to jail under whoever the auditor is now. So, because Richie Farmer was caught, Spending public funds illegally, he was sent to jail. I think he might be still in jail today. Adam Edelin has got a shit ton of endorsements from all the progressive groups in Kentucky, the Louisville Defender newspaper, the Jefferson County Teachers, Kentuckians for the Commonwealth, the Sierra Club Fairness Campaign, American Federation of State, County and Municipal Employees, Mayor Cincy, the mayor of Cincinnati, John Cranley, David James, Louisville City Council President. So the fairness campaign, the gay folks are backing uh, Adam Edelin. So that's good that he's in favor of gay folks. And so is Ike Lawrence, who is a Republican. And so are probably all the Democrats on some level, but not Be Matt Bevin. So this is a stark contrast against the governor, current governor now. Matt Bevin hates the gay folks. He wants the religious schools. He allows them to discriminate against the gay folks. And Matt Bevin complains about don't ask, don't tell. 
why would you bitch about don't ask, don't tell? That's a compromise, you know, that's not really pro-gay, it's not really anti-gay. It's kind of, you know, uh, you just keep your mouth shut and you keep your mouth shut and let's just live our lives. And that's, you know, kind of right. So he's a bigot. He's a homophobic bigot. And a lot of times people who are homophobic bigots like Mike Pence are secretly gay, but they want to tell everybody that they hate the gays so that way nobody thinks that they're really gay. I mean, are you kidding me? Matt Bevin, he's all smiles. He's always, you know, the center of attention. He's always on the camera, always saying stuff. Matt Pence, or Mike Pence with that hair and that face. I mean, he's, my God, you could just tell that, uh, that they probably, <laughs> anyways. Um, Adam Edelin is going to protect the gay folks. Adam Edelin is going to protect the people of color and poor folks. He's mentioning the people of color. He's mentioning poor people. He wants to build a modern Kentucky. So there's a vision. Get out of the 16th century Kentucky. Get a renaissance. Get an enlightenment. Uh, get yourself a Gutenberg printing press revolution. Get yourself some democracy. You know, welcome. Come into the light. Come he may be for universal health care, but the quotes that I have here does not say universal health care. They run away from that term. So if he's for universal health care, stand up and take your licks. That's the good thing about Republicans. Right or wrong, they'll stand up and say their stupid ideas. And if you disagree or agree, right, you just have to accept that that's their opinion. That's where they stand. So Adam Edelin cares about health care, expanding Medicaid, you know, all that. He also wants to get broadband Internet in rural areas. So does Jeff Young. Jeff Young wants to get broadband Internet for everybody. So you have uh, Adam Edelin for universal, for access, you know, universal access to health care, broadband Internet. He says he's going to fight for women. Fifty percent of his campaign staff is women. He's going to make his wife the head of a restorative commission on women. He wants to decriminalize marijuana so that he actually evolved on this issue. He's talking about legalized medical marijuana. Do you just say medical marijuana in Kentucky? Medical marijuana is already legal. But it's only CBD. It's not like California. You can't get a prescription from a doctor for anxiety or back pain or some little tiny thing. And so it's very liberal, so most people could go ahead and get their prescription. But instead, you know, the this is a major thing because he's kind of one of the major candidates. He's got $2.4 million in the bank. Adam Edelin was born in Meade County, right? Fucking Meade County. So he's a river rat born along the Ohio River. That's okay. The broadband Internet. Uh, universal access to health care, fighting for women, decriminalizing marijuana. So Adam Edelin is in favor of decriminalizing marijuana. Decriminalizing it. What's the difference between legalizing and decriminalizing? It's a big difference. De decriminalizing just says they're going to take away, you know, the fines and all the stuff that, you know, they're going to make it not a crime to smoke marijuana, but you're not setting up the industry. You're not legalizing. It needs to be legal. Recreation. Recreational marijuana needs to be legal. It's coming in anyways. you got 12 freedom states. Kentucky is not a freedom state. Kentucky is a Hillary Clinton state, which means even the Democrats are Republicans there. There's hardly any progressive base, hardly any progressive machinery to turn, you know, to create new progressives or to pick up the ones that are just floating out there by themselves in, you know, Letcher County. What about the progressives in Letcher County? You know, goddamn fucking Kentuckians for the Commonwealth. Huh? Hey, Kentuckians for the Commonwealth. Why do they not have the machinery, machinery but they're assholes? Hey, Kentuckians for the Commonwealth. Why were you all such assholes to me? What the fuck did I ever do to you assholes? It's like, oh, he's a progressive. Oh, oh. So uh, is it the public education system? Is that why you don't know how to treat others? Is that why you just are pricks? Is that... Is that what your papa taught you? My papa taught me, just always be a prick. <laughs> just always be an asshole to people, you know. Don't treat them good. Don't treat them nice. Just, just shit on them. Just... So this is in Adam Edelin's own words. He says, I am running a campaign with a real vision and a plan to build a modern Kentucky where you can live your version of the American dream no matter where you're born, what color your skin is, who your parents are, or who you love. He's in favor of renewable energy, so he's going to bring thousands of jobs into the state through renewable energy. He's going to invest. He's going to use government funds to invest in renewable energy. He says he'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Matt Bevin on corruption and job creation. He once said something controversial about he's the only person that said global warming is real and something needs to be done about it. In Kentucky, that is controversial, but Jeff Young, he's for universal. 
hopefully this is all the platform. I wonder if Adam Edelin is just reading the platform of Jeff Young and just, you know, copying him because Jeff Young has been talking about renewable energy. He specifically talks about solar power and hydroelectric uh, turbines. So you're going to turn the streams and the creeks and the rivers into electricity generating machines and use all that solar power. So Edelin's talking about, you know, all the same issues, renewable energy, that's Jeff Young issue, universal access to health care, caring about health care, that's Jeff Young decriminalizing marijuana, Jeff Young's for legalizing marijuana. So just like John Hicks, the libertarian, is for legalizing marijuana, just like William E. Woods, the Republican, who says he's for medical marijuana, but CBD is already legal so if you're just saying medical marijuana in kentucky then that's just bullshit that's already it's already legal technically right but only very few people can get cbd and you have to go to you know uk so there's only three places you can get it very few people get it medical marijuana there is it's not legal if you're going to get your med- if you're going to get marijuana in kentucky you're going to have to you know go into the back alleys you're going to have to go into the depths right into the heart of darkness that's just playing into the whole propaganda, right? You have four candidates, you laugh at one of them, and then you just scapegoat that one person. That's bullying, right? So you're all just going to be a bunch of bullies. So when Adam Edelin said that he's the only candidate who said something controversial, when he said that global warming is real and something needs to be done about it, he's not the only candidate who has said it. But he is right. Giving a damn about the planet in Kentucky is controversial. He's going to give a damn about the planet. That damn EPA, you know, won't let me pollute. You have, you know, six uh, feet buffer zones to keep all the pollution away from the streams, the streams and the creeks. So giving a damn about the planet is just kind of common sense. In fact, you even had Ike Lawrence, a Republican, who says that we need to, you know, cut the emissions for the greenhouse gases. So he's talking about, you know, government doing something about keeping the planet cleaned up. So Adam Edelin isn't the only person that said it, but it is, you know, a controversial thing. So he's kind of uh, taking more credit than what he actually deserves. He's also said, I've sent crooked public officials to public to federal prison while exposing hundreds of millions in misused funds and misplaced funds in Kentucky agencies and schools. He's an auditor, and he would audit a whole bunch of stuff. So when people are worried about, you know, whether or not some organization has been using their funds correctly, you got an auditor. you got a state auditor, and Adam Edelin was a badass state auditor. And it's embarrassing that Kentuckians voted for who? Mike Harmon? Is that the people that's who the current auditor is today? What has Mike Harmon done since he's been in office? Has he done anything? Anyways, Matt Bevin continues to announce ec- economic development projects that fail to materialize. I'm leading a project to build the largest solar development in our Commonwealth's history that would create jobs for hundreds of out-of-work coal miners. Solar power, well, that's Jeff Young right there. Jeff Young is all over the place when it comes to the platform of Adam, Adam Edelin. He said he saved money in school, so I wanted to mention that. As the state auditor who oversaw the rollout of Medicaid expansion and the Affordable Care Act exchange in Kentucky while also investigating rural hospitals, I have more hands-on experience in Kentucky's health system than anyone else that's running. So Medicaid expansion has been rolled back. I think Connect was destroyed. So this is just like Rocky Atkins. This is just like Andy Brashear, Adam Edelin. They are way better than Matt Bevin, who just says, fuck the health of Kentucky. I don't give a shit about the health of Kentucky. I don't care if your kids get sick and die. So that's Matt Bevin's health care policy, and yet their policy is access to health care. So they're not even saying universal health care. Jeff Young is. Jeff Young would be is the perfect antidote for Kentucky's woes. More of Adam Edelin in his own words. Firstly, I've opposed the Bevin administration dangerous and cruel proposed Medicaid changes ever since he announced and stripping coverage for Kentuckians is the last thing we should do as we aim to keep our families healthy and build a stronger economy. I'm committed to investing in preventive medicine, public and community health efforts, and drug treatment that will bring down costs. A lot of bullshit. Just say universal health care and then tell me the plan for universal health care because that's going to be a big undertaking by ensuring that regular preventive screenings are free or low cost, taking clear steps to present to prevent disease and providing treatment options that help end addiction. We can bring down long-run preventive uh, cost shit. Bring down long cost for both privately and publicly insured Kentuckians. 
When you don't defend universal health care, then you're just saying what? You love the insurance companies. You love Aetna and Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Everybody loves their insurance companies. The insurance companies takes care of them left and right. So cheap, so wonderful, so great. Nobody loves their health insurance. Why the fuck would anybody? I don't see how that's such a moral issue of our times. Every industrialized nation has universal health care because they give a shit about the health of the people. Health is life. So Jeff Young is a pro-life candidate because he is for universal health care. It seems to me he's the only Democrat for universal health care. And that's a litmus test for any of these re- uh, Democrat candidates for president. You're not even for universal health care, Joe? Well, fuck you, Joe. Oh, you don't give a shit about millennials? Well, fuck you, baby boomer. Gonna shit on my generation. I'll shit on yours, you piece of shit. All them damn whippersnappers. Oh, yeah, it's always the young people. You pretend like, you know, future generations. The old generations pretend like they had nothing to do with the future generations. I'm pretty sure you've been the fucking leader. Anyways, fuck Joe Biden. That's... If... Kentucky voted for Matt Bevin, or if Kentucky votes for Adam Edelin, Andy Brashear, Rocky Atkins, universal health care is not going to go to Kentucky. Donald Trump is not going to get universal health care for the United States, so it's up to the states. And since none of them say universal health care, they talk about expanding Medicaid and preventive medicine and, you know, this and that and all these health, you know, care-like things, but not universal health care. At Fancy Farm... Four years ago, Edelin ran against Matt Bevin, and he had said something about, they were both running for governor, I don't know why he was criticizing Bevin, but Edelin said of Matt Bevin that Matt Bevin needs to learn the books of the Bible. He needs to get his morality from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And so it sounds like Edelin should read some of those too, right? He cared about the lepers. Jesus cared about the lepers, the tax collectors, the ostracized, the poor, those who are unloved, those who were last will be first, those who, you know, uh, if you're rich, you can't even get through heaven unless you get through the eye of a needle. So he was very much for the poor. He's very much for giving a shit about those people who need help if you're naked. Too long we've been focused on an outdated version of economic development in which we try to make ourselves the cheapest state to do business. Families across the Commonwealth have seen what this has done with the fall of unions, stagnant wages, fewer opportunities, and forgotten places across Kentucky. Not only have these jobs failed to provide the wage increases we need, but many of them are threatened by automation over the coming decades. I've committed to a new economic development strategy that will bring Kentucky into the 21st century. Align us with the future. The first step is making sure that every single Kentuckian has access to quality broadband Internet. It means creating main streets and downtowns everywhere that foster entrepreneurship, business growth. It means acknowledging that we have more jobs in development to gain by accepting that climate change is real. Now, don't deny it. Climate change is real. Finally, I'll work to make sure that the degrees and education needed to prepare for our future aren't out of reach for any Kentuckian who's willing to devote themselves to learning and creating opportunity for themselves. I will not pursue an economic development strategy focused on driving down wages and cutting unions off at the knees. I won't support regressive tax reforms that place increasing burdens on poor and middle class Kentuckians while cutting taxes on big business and the rich by millions. But I'm also fully committed to positive steps to increasing wages for Kentuckians to close the income gaps. I'll embrace a living wage so that a single mom who has kids to feed isn't coming home with $7.25 an hour. So he's going to raise the minimum wage, which... It's bad economics, but the whole balance is between uh, providing people, you know, the basic level for to be able to live. If the job cannot provide you a basic living, uh, you know, a basic living life, then that job should be illegal. I'll enact policies to put an end to wage theft when wealthy employers literally steal earned wages from their employees. And I'll make sure that further education, whether through apprenticeships and job training at our technical schools or at one of Kentucky's four-year universities, is within reach for every family. My goal is to work with Kentuckians to build a state that is ready for the future, that values its people, and that provides real opportunity for everybody. While I'm doing the damage of the Bevin administration, doing the damage of the Bevin administration is critical 
That cannot be our next governor's primary focus. I'll be working every single day to create 21st century opportunities, bringing up wages and valuing the rights of each and every Kentuckian. So for all those words, it does seem like he's, uh, you know, his motivations and his soul is very good. He's going to protect the gay folks. He's going to protect people of color. So he's against, you know, the racism. He's against, uh, you know, discrimination. So he's going also talking about poor. I hadn't mentioned, you know, none of them had mentioned poor, but he had said that he's, it doesn't matter where you're born from, you know, there's poor folks out there. So he's going to help the poor. So he's at least mentioning it. He's at least mentioning it. But where is the war on poverty at? Jesus Christ, I can understand the Republicans. You know, LBJ did the war on drugs, so that's a Democrat idea. But why won't anybody declare a war on poverty in Kentucky? It was one of the greatest, you know, social programs that the presidents ever did. War on poverty. They even went to Eastern Kentucky. LBJ went to Eastern Kentucky to say, hey, look, America, look how poor these kids are. This is bullshit. So LBJ could stand up against poverty, you know, 70 